In this video we're going to do four problems. The directions are not on here but they are solve the linear equation. Okay. Um, more specifically solve for the unknown which in this case is the variable x. Okay, I just used x for all of these. It could be any unknown variable, uh, any unknown value that we're trying to find. Okay, so in the first one you see x plus 3 equals 8. Find out what x is. This is an easy one, right? You could say, okay, what? You could do it without algebra, right? You could say, what number, if I add 3 to it, I get 8. And you might come up with 5, right? But what we want to do is get in the habit of doing the algebraic process, right? So you're trying to get x by itself, you have a 3 added to it. So you want to get rid of that 3, right? And the idea is to do the opposite operation x plus 3 equals 8, so I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. That's algebra. So I'm going to do minus 3, but whatever I do to the left hand side, I got to do it to the right hand side, minus 3. That's the reason I did that. 3 minus 3 is 0, and on the right, 8 minus 3 is 5. Okay, easy one to start. Same concept here, there's a little, for number 2, a little more work. So you want to get x by itself. So the first thing you got to do is get rid of the 7. So you have to ask yourself, how do I get rid of it? Well, it's negative. So I'm going to add it to both sides. Okay, so that gives me 2x equals 11. Now, be careful. Here's a common mistake for the next step. You're trying to get x by itself still. You have a 2 multiplied by the x. You don't subtract it, right? 2x minus 2 is not x. You have to divide it, right? You have to ask yourself what's happening here. It's multiplication. How do I undo multiplication? I divide, right? 2x divided by 2 is x by itself, and that gives me my answer, 11 halves, which is an acceptable answer. We actually prefer that till, it's also 5 and a half, but we prefer the improper fraction. Okay, <clears throat> moving on. Number three. Now I got multiple x terms. The goal is to get just one x term. Okay? The goal is to get the x is on one side of the equation, the number term on the other. So ultimately, let me show you from the last one. All of these equations should ultimately look like that step. We have an x term on one side. It doesn't have to be the left. A lot of times it is. An x term on one side and just a number on the other side. And then the final step is to divide. Okay, so moving back to three, how do we get our our equation that's more complicated to look like that. Well, the first thing we're going to do is, is get my x's over. So I got a 2x on the right side, a 7x on the left. I could subtract either 7x from both sides, that would work, or 2x from both sides, which is what I'm going to choose to do. So you do have some options. You should end up with the correct answer if you follow the rules of algebra either way. Okay, 2x, the reason this works, 2x minus 2x is 0, right? I didn't violate any algebra properties there as long as I do it to the other side. 7x minus 2x is 5x. Okay, so in one step I've simplified this equation a bit. Now I only have that one x term. All right, now, now ask yourself, how am I going to get this x all by itself? Well, i got to get rid of the 5 and the 11. First, I'm going to have to add 11 to both sides. Made 11 plus 11 is 0, so that gives me 5x equals 16. And then the final step is to divide by 5. So I get x equals 16 over 5, and we can leave our answer just like that. Okay? So for, as you can see, these are gradually getting a little bit more complicated. In the next video we'll do some fractions. Um, I wanted to include one like this because I often see mistakes when you distribute this negative sign. Okay, That's the first thing we got to do is get rid of those parentheses. So negative 3x and I'm going to distribute the negative to the negative 6. That gives me a plus 6. Negative 2x plus 1. Okay, So a couple extra steps in this one than the last one. Now before I start adding and subtracting things to both sides, I got to first combine like terms, right? That's something we didn't have to do in any of the other equations, but I got a 5 and a 6, both number terms. 
that I can bring together. Okay, so that's going to give me, and it doesn't matter what I put first, 11 minus 3x would be the same thing as negative 3x plus 11. Alright, and now I'll do what I did in the last one. I'm going to get my x terms on one side. So that gives me 11 minus 1x, or just x, equals, that goes away, 1. Next up is to subtract 11 from both sides, right? And again, I don't need that negative 1 in front of the x. It could just be negative x, but it's the same thing. I'm running out of room, so let me go to a different color so we can see. So that gives me negative 1x equals, that's gone, 1 minus 11 is negative 10. Okay, now I'm glad I have this negative coefficient of x here because we haven't seen that in the first four problems. The final step is to divide by the coefficient of x, right? So I need to divide negative 1x by negative 1, right? You don't want to add 1. And you don't want to, I often see this divided by 1, right? We don't do the opposite sign here because how do I get rid of a, a negative 1 times x? I divide by exactly that same number, negative 1. Divide by negative 1, that's gone. x equals negative 10 divided by negative 1, which is 10. Okay. Um, the mistake I often see with this one is what I want you to look out for. Look at number, look, let's go back to number one. You see right here, you had a plus three, and you said, oh, I got to do the opposite sign. I got to do negative three. Right? And sometimes I see that same thing happen with this step. You say, oh, I got a negative one, so I got to divide by one. Well, that's not right. What's the difference in, in those two steps? Here, the the 3 is added to the x, so you got to do minus 3, because 3 minus 3 is 0. That's a completely different concept than what we have over here. It's negative 1 times x. That's the key, times. So you have to divide by exactly that negative 1. Okay, so in other words, when you're dividing, the, the sign should be the same. When you're subtracting or adding, of course, the sign should be different. Okay? One thing real quick before I end this video is I didn't talk about the check can always do the check alright let me I can take this 10 and plug it right in here right? and I should get the same answer if you take 10 here you get 3 times 10 30 minus 6 24 5 minus 24 negative 19 right I'm just doing that in my head you can do it do it uh, write it down plug the 10 into here I get negative 19 if I plug 10 into the left side. If I plug it into the right side, negative 2 times 10, negative 20, plus 1, negative 19. So in my head, and you don't have to be able to do it in your head, I know that's right. Okay, and that, that check works. If you ever have time on a quiz or a test or just checking your work, you always want to do that check. Make sure you get the right answer.